Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me today for another uh, Ranking the Twilight Zone video where I rank all 156 episodes of the original series. Today I'm going to be talking about my second least favorite, and this one almost made it to the bottom, number 155, The Mighty Casey, a very late season one episode written by Rod Serling and directed by Alvin Ganser and Robert Parrish. And Mighty Casey is an episode I've never really been very fond of honestly even the very first time I saw it it just doesn't seem very Twilight Zony and it's just not very good in my opinion which I'll go through here so this one's about a robot baseball player who basically helps a struggling team uh, to victory he makes them a lot better they're basically a very bad baseball team now this episode's got a few different issues than other episodes there were production problems the original uh, actor that they wanted had health issues and they were never able to, you know, complete the episode with him. They hired Jack Warden and reshot a lot of the footage, which is why I believe there's two different directors. And you can just tell this was kind of a messy, uh, a messily produced um, episode. It's supposed to be a comedy, but it's just not really funny at all. I don't think I laughed once. Uh, this is one of those episodes where they think that having poor sound effects is going to make it funny and you know this works in slapstick comedy it doesn't really work in the twilight zone um the acting uh, other than jack warden who tries the best with the material he's given here is just pretty average for the twilight zone it's not awful but there's nothing about any of the performances that really stand out but the biggest problem with this episode like i said it doesn't feel twilight zoney some of the comedies don't but this one really doesn't and it just feels like a pointless episode. Like, what's the point of this? If the point of it is just to entertain you, it's, in, you know, again, in my opinion, it's not very entertaining. And the ending message hurts this episode as well. Um, so the big twist to this is because um, Casey gets a heart partway through the episode because it's like in the rules, he needs a heart to play or something. Now he can't succeed anymore because he doesn't, like, want to strike out any batters or compete. This... Uh, I usually love Twilight Zone messages. This one makes no sense to me. Uh, so is this saying that all people that are successful in athletics don't have a heart? They're all just ruthless? Like, I just don't buy the message at all. To me, it feels tacked on because Rod Serling's like, you know, this episode's kind of a mess. Nothing's really happening, so I better tack on a message to make it feel more important. You know, like, the message just doesn't really work for me. And this episode just doesn't work for me. Kind of like the last episode I talked about sounds and silences i just don't get much of a point out of this and because to me personally it's not funny or entertaining that's why the mighty casey ranks at number 155 so as always feel free to leave me a comment on what you think about the mighty casey and the next video will be about number 154 another episode i'm not too wild about but uh things will get better soon i promise as always thanks for watching